Why hello boys and girls. Today I'm going to show you how to install a solid state drive into your Lenovo Legion 5 gaming laptop. And then after installing the SSD, I'm going to show you like how to format your drive so your laptop can recognize it. So the SSD I bought is the OS Digital 1 terabyte. I love the OS Digital products. Um, I could buy the two terabyte if I wanted to, but I didn't because two things. One, I don't like the price. And number two, um, I'm trying to discourage myself to hold a bunch of information on my laptop. Um, usually I like to keep like a few video sets. I keep all my video files. And then when, I'm, when I have like a few like video sets, I like transfer them to external hard drive. Um, don't want to keep much information on my laptop because it does slow your laptop down quite a bit. So that's why I bought the uh, one terabyte hard drive. All right, enough with the intro. Let's get started. All right, we're going to remove the 11 screws. Keep in mind that these bottom four screws are slightly smaller compared to the ones on top. All right, once you got all the 11 screws out, I usually start from the bottom and then you can just like, you know, get like your flat head, just like wedge in between here and then twist. Just keep, and just do it on all the sides. You can do it all sides if you want to, but if you feel confident, you can just like rip it out. Let's <laughs> be careful. There we go. Okay, here's what the inside looks like. Here's where we're gonna put our solid state drive in, right in place in it's a, a dummy which we're going to take out. Uh, keep in mind, once you put the SSD in there, you cannot buy the extended battery. The battery is like this long. And um, if you install the SSD, you can't put the NVMe uh, chip in there. So it's either the NVMe like a drive and a longer battery or just the uh, solid state drive. And, uh, to take this dummy out, we just have to take out the four screws here. To take this out, just you have to gently like lift this battery up because this like this part here is like on top of this um this uh, holder. So you just have to gently lift this up, and you can take this out. Like so. Here's the uh, Siri ATA cable. Take this dummy out. We just have to lift this side here. There we go. You got four screws here. This is how you hold the uh, the drive into the uh, the sides here. Probably just use your finger. Yeah. Now we're going to get our drive. Just going to put it in here. Make sure the holes are aligned, which they are, and then we are going to screw them in.
Okay, once that's done, we're gonna plug the cable into our drive. Then put this bad boy in there. All right, and then we're gonna get the, this end here, this cable. Make sure the blue tab is facing up. We are going to put this in here. Okay, I should be able to slide in like so. And once that slide in, you wanna push this down. I should be able to lock in. Gently tug on the cable. Don't do it too hard. Just make sure it's like all locked in. And it's good. Once that's done, we can screw on the, uh, the drive. Once that's done, we can put the uh, the bottom shell back. Sure, you'll hear the snap. Just push down. And we just screw it on the 11 screws again. Just make sure, remember, the four screws in the bottom are smaller than the ones at top. Once that's done, what we're going to do is we're going to turn on our laptop and then once we turn it on, we're going to mash F2. All right, you should be able to see the screen here. We're going to go to more settings, click on more settings and we're going to go under SSD. And this is Western Digital, one terabyte. Uh, it shows that the hardware is recognized with the laptop, which is a good thing. And once we get to that point, now all we have to do is format it so this laptop can be able to see it software wise. So exit, we didn't change anything. So this card changes. All right, once everything's all booted up, we go to File Explorer. We're going to go on this PC. You're going to see that you only have one drive, which is your main drive. So under this PC, you would right click, go to manage, double click on storage, double click on disk management. And here's your main drive, and here's the one that you installed. What we're going to do is click on this, right click, New simple volume. I'm going to click on next. Next. You could choose drive if you want to, just leave it alone. Next. And next. Finish. Now it's formatting. All right, I should say new volume here. Now we're going to go back under this PC. Now you'll see your drive here. And now your laptop's officially recognizing your new drive. That's going to rename this. Rename this a secondary. That's it. Once you get to this point, you have successfully installed your new solid state drive into your Lenovo Legion 5 gaming laptop. If you found this video very useful, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton. If you have any questions, feel free to post in the comments down below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.